Hey guys, Luke here. I'm here to do another video on the Super League, going over the transfers, biggest transfers, pretty much all the NRL guys that I know of, seeing as I'm Australian. This episode, we're going to be talking about Ben Roberts, who I actually do have quite a high opinion of, which goes against the grain um, that everyone else sort of says about Ben Roberts. I know he has his um, moments where his WTF moments where you're kind of like, what the hell are you thinking? In particular, I remember for Bulldogs, like, with the games on the line, trying to score and kicking on the second tackle and stuff like that, like, stupid things like that. Um, but I actually think he's come a long way since then. Um, I still will never forget him standing up Darren Lockyer, making him look like a right fool. Um, but yeah, uh, something I tend to sort of, like, look back on and think, same players then. Uh, I think 2009 was his best year. Although, I do think, you know, when he went to the Eel, like, he had an injury. And when he was at the Bulldogs, I thought he was good. Went to the Eels, then he was the man. He was supposed to be the man who was going to, like, control everything because Sando wasn't going to do it. And uh, Ben Roberts copped a lot of flack. He's, I don't think he's the player that um, is going to control the game. I don't know how this Luke Dawn guy goes. Uh, they probably want someone who's, you know, an actual half with him. Otherwise, he's not going to go that great. But in terms of controlling the game by himself, I don't think that's Ben Roberts' strength. But... I think he can play off someone who's a good player. Like we saw uh, Cooper Cronk, great. With Brett Kamala, he was great. Um, but when you start putting in the other like average players around him where he is expected to do all the stuff and come up with the miracle plays and that, that's where he sort of stuffs up and tries. he tries really to go for the miracle player too often. Um, but when he's playing in a team with Kronk, Kronk and Smith, which I know is you know a big... I know this is a big downgrade. No offense to Dawn and Milner, whoever they are. Um, but... Cronk and Smith are like two of the best, um, and then Slater as well. Um, but yeah, like Ben Roberts will, will be a lot different here, but also he's playing in a different sort of sort of league as well. So um, he probably will, will be able to tear up some some teams, the lower sort of teams. Um, I don't know what the the lineups actually going to be, and I particularly like don't particularly care because I would know the players anyways. But um, yeah, as, as long as Ben Roberts doesn't have to do everything by himself, he should be okay. Um, haven't done a player model there, but um, yeah, what are my thoughts on Ben Roberts signing? I think it's a good signing. Um, I don't think he would be signing for very much. I know when he was at the Storm, it was only like a last last ditch sort of thing. Parramatta didn't even want him. Um, so going to Castleford, probably not on huge money, probably on an okay sort of money, but um, in terms of like value for money, you probably you should probably get out of him. Um, but be prepared to be frustrated with him. And some some games you'd be wanting to hook him off the field and say get the f out of my team. Others others you would be saying, man, this guy should be playing for New Zealand, should be destroying everything. Like so good. Uh, that's just that's just how Ben Roberts is, and you got to deal with it. So um, hopefully you can. Oh, this come to the end of the video, I should say. And uh, hopefully you could drop a like. Hopefully you could subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave comments and that sort of stuff. Um, suggestions for for other players, NRL, Super League, whatever. And um, also leave comments on what are your thoughts on Ben Roberts in Super League. At, at this stage, when it's uploaded, he might have played a few games, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to leave the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Make sure um, you come back and watch my other videos, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!